holiday road travel vlog. We are in Boston, Massachusetts this weekend and we are excited. Yeah, so we are starting out today with what's known as the Freedom Trail, a two and a half mile walk through the city to visit uh, several different historical sites. We're really excited, so uh, we're gonna take you along, see what other trouble we can get into today. Uh, if you're not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button to follow along all of our adventures here in Massachusetts and across the country. So the trail starts here in Boston Commons Park, uh, which is just a block from where our hotel was last night. Um, but huge, beautiful park with uh, a lot of different statues, memorials. Um, we're trying to find the information center so we can start the walk from there. Walking down the street, Hollywood and fine. Looking for a better way to pass the time. At the bus stop, a homeless man put out his fist. Try to shake his hand, but he grabbed my wrist. The billboard was promoting someone I knew. But boy, I'm glad I'm not in his shoes, cause I'm free. Spirit forever. Is made a brick through the path as you're walking, so it's kind of easier to identify where to go and where you're going next. Police notice the guitar. They asked me if I was gonna be a star, cause I'm free. So we're at the Park Street Church Cemetery uh, where some legends in American history are buried. John Hancock, Samuel Adams, and more. Um, so they give you this little helpful guide as you get into the cemetery to go around and see where these famous people are buried. Um, but just look how old this place is. It's so cool. So we just stopped to see probably the most famous grave uh, in this cemetery, which is that of Paul Revere, who alerted uh, the early American leadership to the coming British invasion. Um, just amazing to see this kind of American history in person. This is the original Mother Goose. So the giant Franklin uh, monument in the middle of the cemetery is not actually Benjamin Franklin, but that of his parents. Benjamin Franklin is buried in the city of brotherly love, being Philadelphia, um, but he did live in Boston until the age of 16. One goes together, they all know where they want to go, and Sam's kind of steering them that direction. nearing stops four and five, which is the King's Chapel Church and the King's Chapel Cemetery behind us here. Um, pretty neat stuff. Another week I can't believe I'm counting down the minutes till it's Tuesday Another day back on my feet If you're a fan of statues, Boston is the place to go. I'm introducing two special guests for this vlog. My sister and brother-in-law, Taylor and Niles. They're gonna be joining us in Boston today. Niles, what's your YouTube handle? Uh, my YouTube name is Niles Anderson, N-Y-L-E-S and then Anderson. Perfect. Uh, go there for all your arm wrestling uh, That's right, content. That's right, all the arm wrestling stuff. Kentucky State champ, baby. So believe it or not, Chipotle is actually one of the coolest stops on the trail, not because of its burrito options, but because that building used to be the old corner bookstore um, where amazing historical authors like Thoreau, Longfellow, Stowe uh, used to gather on a regular basis. And now you can get a burrito there. So we're in the Old South Meeting House here in downtown Boston, uh, where the original meetings to start the Boston Tea Party and the American Revolution began. Uh, just amazing to think about the legends that sat in these very seats. Uh, this one is a small admission fee, uh, but you get into the site of the Boston Massacre as well, so definitely worth it. Where are we at right now? Um, I think we're at the State House. Yes, we're at the State House. What happened here? Um, I'm not sure yet, I haven't read it up. Yet. 
So the State House here is the site of the Boston Massacre when tensions rose between the troops and the uh, colonists uh, where the troops eventually killed five people uh, which led to uh, a lot of the beginning of American independence. The tour guide told us that even though the site for the Boston Massacre is right in front of the courthouse, um, that actually where it actually occurred is closer to the Bank of America building across the street. Super excited to eat here in Quincy Market. We got the um, Boston Chowder Co. Uh, but there's seafood everywhere. It looks delicious. We just finished up lunch and it was great. Did not disappoint. Zach got a lobster roll and I got lobster bisque. Um, it was perfect Boston food for our Boston lunch. taking a little break from the Freedom Trail. The Quincy Market is full of food and shops and is right behind the Newley Hall, which I'm sure I'm saying wrong, um, but definitely a great stop for lunch, as you just saw. Oh, look at the chandelier on the side. Dude, yeah, I mean, this it's just amazing. This street is from 1652. Mike's Pastries in a little bit and compare the two. But obviously, I don't know how Mike's Pastries compares yet, but this one is absolutely delicious. We got a cannoli, totally worth it. We're at the uh, second pastry location, Mike. It's Deanna's choice, so we'll, uh, we'll see what you think. All right, we think Mike's pastries might hold just a little bit of an Mike's edge. Mike's is better. Compared to the model. They're both really good, though. We're here at one of the most iconic landmarks in Boston, and that's the Paul Revere House. Um, obviously known for his famous midnight ride uh, to alert the American leadership that the British were coming. We're almost to one of the most iconic uh, spots on the Freedom Trail, which is the Old North Church, where of course Paul Revere hung lanterns to alert the people that the British were coming. Um, absolutely legendary. If anything, you've probably seen bits of it in National Treasure, uh, the movie, um, but it'll be really cool to see it in person. We're nearing the end of the Freedom Trail and we've just come across the USS Constitution. They say the USS Constitution is the world's oldest ship still floating. How cool is that? Oh my gosh, there's a real Navy battleship out there. Yeah. All right, we're heading to our last stop on the Freedom Trail, which is the Bunker Hill Monument. Um, after that, we'll uh, see what else we can get into in the city for the day, uh, but there's so much to offer. We are at the end of the Freedom Trail. We are at the Bunker Hill Memorial. Very cool building. I think it is free to actually go up inside and walk up the steps. Uh, we weren't really feeling that after our big journey here, uh, but definitely worth the stop. Niles, what's your review on Boston Public uh, subway stations? I'm just, I'm so excited <laughs> to be down here. I'm just kidding, this is nicer than New York for sure. Friday we go
Hotel is the birthplace of that dessert, and as luck would have it, they were just having a party for National Boston Green Pie Day, and we got it all free. I wanted to go there as soon as I found out we were going to Boston, and it just worked out so well. So we headed back to the hotel for a little break, freshened up, and now we're heading to something uh, that we're pretty excited about called Putt Shack, a new interactive way to play mini golf. Looks like they've got locations in Atlanta, Chicago area, and here in Boston, so we're going to check it out. This place has golf balls that keep your score for you. So it shows up on the screen, tells you how many shots you've taken, and there's ways to get bonus points. It's really, really cool. Nice. That pup up place was by far the coolest mini golf we've ever done. So cool. Time for some seafood for dinner. We're going off one recommendation from a friend, so hopefully it's some good stuff. I am free, still dead forever. I don't want to work for anyone but me. That's my biggest plan. Forever being free, it's better to spend time with someone, with someone that you love. Looking back on life cause you're free Spirit forever Alright guys, hey, it was way too loud to review that food in there, but it was absolutely delicious. Um, but like I said, a little uh, a little loud inside. Um, so great environment right on the water, super cool. But hey, that's going to wrap up our video for Boston. Uh, so make sure if you aren't already, that you are subscribed to this channel so you can follow us for all of our adventures. Uh, stay tuned because there's plenty more to come from the New England States. I won't ever doubt myself again. This is the greatest thing I've seen in Boston. Do you see the one next to it? <laughs> Got him.